Hello, welcome back. Um, just a quick one today. Uh, just going to show you how to test a free post um, starter solenoid. Um, yeah, quite simple. Uh, just put the gear together and I'll be with you. Right, what you need is a couple of bits of wire. Don't be anything special. Um, we're using a multimeter today and obviously your solenoid and a battery. This one's on charge because it's a bit down the power at the moment. Um, we we'll just sort of get ready and we'll sort of set it up a bit more. Um, that's all you need, I think. I can't think of anything else on top of my head we're going to need. Two seconds and I'll be back with you. Alright, here we go. We're lucky. This, is, this one is off of a... Um, Westwood, and obviously it comes. It's bolted to the plate. And you can just take the plate off. There's a few. This is a fuse box next to it. Don't take notice of that. Um, that's something to do. It's nothing's connected. As you can see, it's just how we've stripped all the wiring loom off. And we will be doing a video soon of wiring that up. Um, but basically, there's your free post. This would have um, like a power in, power out to the starter. It's basically it's electronic switch so it doesn't really matter you're just uh, breaking and unbreaking the circuit here these are these two right so what you need is to connect it to an earth obviously if it's on, on a machine it might already be earth and you might be able to use that so we put an earth on there on this one we can earth it through the plate on this bolt here but if not, you can earth it straight onto the onto the uh, bottom of the uh, solenoid. Because the earth, the actual solenoid is earthed through the through the plate, this metal plate on the bottom, the silver bit. Right. So then, hang on for a moment. I'm going to just what you should get if you get your live and you put it on this little one down the bottom here, it should click. I hope you can hear that. And that's basically like electromagnet turn the switch on and off. So then what you do, so that means the switch is working, what normally means that they're working. Now what we'll do next is I'll get Louie to, to put the a meter on these two. Hold on two seconds while we get, in, get the meter ready. Louie's going to touch these two, two together so you know what should happen when they put them together. I don't know if you can hear that, but it bleeps basically on the meter, and that's what you've got to li listen out for um, when we when we do it. So if you put them two on there, Lou, bit of a dodgy connection on here with the with the things. So some we've had a couple of goes, and it it was a bit hit and miss. But the actual switch was the solenoid was working. So like I so said, put this back on the live. Are they on there, mate. Don't know if you can hear the bleep. There you are. Take it off. Basically, when that was bleeping, hopefully, hopefully you can hear it. That would have been power to the starter. The only difference with a four pin is when you're testing it is you would have to make a you make a circuit from from them because obviously one's live and but I'll, I'll do a four pin one um, later on. I've got one around here somewhere. But that's basically it. Quite simple. If you haven't got like something like this with an earth, earth um, a bolt you can earth to, I don't know where you can see it. You could just earth in in there. Okay, because remember, it's only a, it is just a switch with like an electromagnet here, and all you're doing is turning it on and off, and that's con connecting these two up. And like I say, you'd have one coming in from your battery, a big lead. Have we got a big lead here, Lou? Not really, we'll have to work it to our hands on. But if something like a thick lead, like, like so, on one side and then the other, and it's just joining. Because a lot of people, they they put, um, when they start playing up, they put a spanner across and you get them to work. But always take them, always test them, because they could just be a bit sticky, you know, and they want a little bit of a tap just to wake them up again. Hope that's, that helps you. And, um, yeah, so that's it for now. So from me and Louie.
till next time if you like if you like it tick the like box and thumbs up and subscribe till next time bye for now